Welcome back. It is home and garden week here on PTL. And since we can't be at the convention center this spring oh. for the show as we normally do, we're featuring some segments here on PTL this week. And this next story combines the best of both home and garden. A local woman designed a new way to garden on the exterior of railings of her home that anyone can easily do. And you don't have to be an expert gardener to be able to do this. Yeah, Selena Pompiani has the story behind this popular invention that has pe people thinking outside the railing. Are you trapped by your plants? Last summer during quarantine, I was on my porch and I felt trapped in by my plants. I had so many because my husband is an avid gardener and I wanted to move my plants to the other side of the railing. Deborah Hochschlag wanted to expand her outdoor space and she did so with her newest innovation in balcony and deck gardening, plant traps. Selena, we have the plant trap here, and we're going to pull the stake, and we're going to take it and slide it under the railing, up against the back. Okay. And then we're going to pick up our plant. Beautiful. And put it over the railing, and we would reach through the balusters so we could lower it down safely. Okay. And center it, make sure that the plant is nice and tight against the... Yeah. Railing and the rail and this is nice and tight and then you just have to find two holes. This is so easy, Deborah. I'm so glad you think so. And just push that stake right down in there. I decided I had three goals. The first one is that people could use their own planters. The second one is that it would work with wood and metal railings of different thicknesses. And the third one is that it would be tool free and easy enough for my mom to do. Holtschlag designed this simple shelf to create curb appealing floating gardens and to add more room for living. Plus, there is no mess. All you need is a ledge beyond the railing of at least four inches. Just like the gorgeous balconies here at Deborah's friend's home. Okay, so tell me about these ones. I love them, the snap. The snapdragon, snap aren't they great? Oh. And then the ferns are so easy to take care of. Oh, they're great. And then great. the boxes use two plant traps oh. and the pots use one. Holtschlag tells me the plant traps are manufactured in New Kensington and are made from galvanil, which is a rust resistant steel and then powder coated so they will last a long time. Another thing I really like about this is that once you get your plants into the sun, you don't have to worry about deer and you can do tomatoes, vegetables, and the um, railing becomes a trellis. It's a built-in trellis. So you can do climbing vines, um, herb garden, the sky's the limit. She's right. They work for a variety of plants and each trap supports 35 pounds of weight. My invention is available at the local gardening centers um, like Trax Farm, Rolliers, Bedners, Chapins, Swickley Creek, the best feeds. Um, I would like to give a special shout out to Brenkles because they donated the plants today that you see and they are celebrating their 100th year in business. All you do is slide, nest, stake, and enjoy. Anybody can do this. If you're looking to add color and space to your outdoor oasis, plant traps may just be the thing you're looking for. For PTO, I'm Selena Pompiani. Oh, I love really that idea. Cool. Why don't we think of things like that? I don't know. I don't know, but it was. I need I mean, an invention. We need something like that. But that I love that she invented it. I love that you can get it at area stores. Yeah. And and really, it adds like a colorful pop all the way around the deck there and space to your happy place out there. Very cool. Yeah. Very neat.